Math 5 Quarter 1 Week 6 Lesson 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Multiplies mentally proper fraction with denominators up to 10. Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, the topic is Multiplies Mentally Proper Fraction with Denominators Up to 10. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Multiply mentally the proper fraction with denominators up to 10. When we do math mentally, we need to look for patterns and follow certain rule or properties. Hence, we can solve and accomplish without consuming much time. This lesson is about multiplication of fraction mentally. We will discuss our lesson by doing the following activities. Learning Task 1 Simplify the given fractions to lowest term. Number 1 2 fourths Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Correct! The lowest term is 1 half. 2 and 4 are divided by 2. Number 2. 6 ninths. Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Correct! The lowest term is 2 thirds. 6 and 9 are divided by 3. Number 3. 10 twelfths. Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Correct! The lowest term is 5 6. 10 and 12 are divided by 2. Number 4. 8 twelfths. Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Correct! The lowest term is 2 thirds. 8 and 12 are divided by 4. Number 5. 12 over 32. Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Correct! The lowest term is 3 eighths. 12 and 32 are divided by 4. Number 6. 27 over 45. Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Correct! The lowest term is 3 fifths. 27 and 45 are divided by 9. Number 7. 35 over 63. Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Very good! The lowest term is 5 ninths. 35 and 63 are divided by 7. And number 8. 64 over 96. Simplify this fraction to get the lowest term. Very good! The lowest term is 2 thirds. 64 and 96 are divided by 32. One way to multiply fraction mentally and easily is cancellation method. Look at the example. The following is the procedure for multiplying fractions with cancelling of factors. First, multiply fractions by cancelling common factors. Divide out factors that are common to both a numerator and a denominator. For example, 4 6 times 1 half. To multiply mentally and easily, use the cancellation method. The common factors are numerator 4 and denominator 2. The GCF of 4 and 2 is 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And 2 divided by 1 equals 1. And now, multiply. 2 times 1 equals 2. And 6 times 1 equals 6. The answer is 2 6. 
And now simplify it to get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF. The GCF of 2 and 6 is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So the answer is 1 third. The factor being divided out can appear in any numerator and any denominator. Here is another example. 2 9 times 3 7 equals... The common factors are the numerator 3 and the denominator 9. We will use the cancellation method. 3 and 9. Now, find the GCF of 3 and 9. The GCF is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Next, multiply. 2 times 1 equals 2. 3 times 7 equals 21. So, the answer is 2 over 21. Now, let's go to learning task 2. Multiply the following fractions mentally. Number 1. 6 7 of 1 7 is... To get the answer, multiply first the numerator. 6 times 1 equals 6. And then, multiply the denominators. 7 times 7 equals 49. So, the answer is 6 over 49. Number 2. 4 fifth of 2 third is... 4 times 2 equals 8. 5 times 3 equals 15. The answer is 8 over 15. Number 3. 3 8 of 2 9 is... For this given fraction, we will use the cancellation method. The common factors are 3 and 9. The GCF of 3 and 9 is 3. Now divide. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Another common factors are 2 and 8. The GCF of 2 and 8 is 2. Now divide. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Next is, multiply the numerators and the denominators. 1 times 1 equals 1. And 4 times 3 equals 12. So the answer is 1 12. Number 4. 2 third of 3 fifth is... For this given fraction, we will use the cancellation method. For 3 and 3, the GCF of 3 and 3 is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Now, multiply. 2 times 1 equals 2. And 1 times 5 equals 5. So, the answer is 2 fifth. Number 5. 2 six of 2 eight is... For this given fraction, we will use the cancellation method. Cancel 2 and 8. Then find the GCF. The GCF is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Another common factors are 2 and 6. The GCF of 2 and 6 is 2. And now divide. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Now, multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1. And 3 times 4 equals 12. So, the answer is 1 12. Number 6. 5 7 of 1 half is... Multiply. 5 times 1 equals 5. And 7 times 2 equals 14. The answer is 5 over 14. Number 7. 2 8 of 1 6 is... So, for this given fraction, we will use the cancellation method. 2 and 6. The GCF of 2 and 6 is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Now multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1. And 8 times 3 equals 24. So the answer is 1 over 24. Number 8. 5 6 of 2 9 is... For this given fraction, 
we will use the cancellation method for 2 and 6. The GCF of 2 and 6 is 2. Divide. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Now multiply. 5 times 1 equals 5. And 3 times 9 equals 27. The answer is 5 over 27. Number 9. 2 fifth of 3 six is... For this given fraction, we will use the cancellation method. The common factors are 2 and 6. The GCF of 2 and 6 is 2. So 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Another common factors are numerator 3 and denominator 3. The GCF is 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Now multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1. And 5 times 1 equals 5. The answer is 1 fifth. Number 10. 2 seventh of 1 fourth is? For this fraction, use the cancellation method. The common factors are 2 and 4. The GCF is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Now multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1, and 7 times 2 equals 14. The answer is 1 over 14. To multiply the fraction mentally, we have to multiply the numerators to get the product of the numerator. Next, Multiply the denominators to get the product of the denominator. And express the product in lowest terms if applicable. Use cancellation method if necessary. Learning task 3. Multiply mentally and express in simplest form. Number 1. 2 half times 2 fourth is? Use the cancellation method. The common factors are? 2 and 4, the GCF is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Another common factors are 2 and 2. The GCF is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Now multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1. And 2 times 1 equals 2. The answer is 1 half. Number 2. 2 ninth of 3 fourth is? Cancel the common factor. 2 and 4. The GCF is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Another common factors are 9 and 3. The GCF is 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1 and 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1, and 3 times 2 equals 6. The answer is 1 over 6. Number 3. 4 fifth of 2 third is? There are no common factors. Now multiply. 4 times 2 equals 8, and 5 times 3 equals 15. The answer is 8 over 15. Number 4. 1 fourth of 6 seventh is? The common factors are 6 and 4. The GCF of 6 and 4 is 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Now multiply. 1 times 3 equals 3. And 2 times 7 equals 14. The answer is 3 over 14. Number 5. 1 fifth of 2 third is? There are no common factors. Now multiply. 1 times 2 equals 2. And 5 times 3 equals 15. The answer is 2 over 15. Remember, to multiply the fraction mentally, we have to multiply the numerators to get the product of the numerator. Next, multiply the denominators to get the product of the denominator and express the product in lowest term if applicable. Use cancellation method if necessary. 
So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!